Hello everyone, today we will let GPT-3 write the code for this. It's a black ball traveling across the screen within the browser. And if it collides with the green ball, it increases in size by 10%. If it collides with the red ball, red dot, then it reduces in size by 10%. Entirely written by AI using OpenAI's JavaScript Playground and also uh, GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio Code. And we didn't use the HTML canvas property. So these are entirely actual HTML uh, objects, elements, I should say. So to get started, uh, I should say that this is the JavaScript sandbox. Um, I'll put a link uh, to it in the description. This is the description that I used. Maybe we can just reuse the description. Just clear all. So we start from a blank template. And we're going to give the instructions to this JavaScript sandbox, which I'll have the link in the description for you. And from your text description, this sandbox is going to write out some JavaScript code. But let's go over the uh, instruction that I came up with. Uh, it's not that complex, it's just there are a few things to know about it. It's much more useful if, if you know um, that, for example, it's better to use the window instead of the screen. If you're familiar with JavaScript, HTML, I think you'll have no problem. It's just very, the most crucial part is to uh, identify what you really need and spell out everything and hopefully in the correct order. So. I'm not uh, pretending that I did it the perfect way possible, but this was an attempt which worked, so let's take a look. I said, create a black circle which moves around randomly. And then, the circle bounces off the edges of the window. Right, so I handle two conditions. I want a black circle that moves around the screen, and the circle also has to bounce off the edges of the window, so it doesn't just move off the window and we can't see it no more. After that, I said, create 20 green dots randomly positioned around the window. And then I said, create 20 small red dots randomly positioned around the window. And then, if the circle collides with the green dot, the circle grows in size by 10%, and the green dot is removed from the window. If the circle collides with the red dot, I actually even made a typo here, the circle decreases in size by 10%, and the red dot is removed from the window. So this is pretty simple. It's uh, pretty much plain increase, uh, uh, plain English. Uh, I guess some of the words um, are important, like removed, uh, 10%, that it grows in size. Like when you're writing it, you might have difficulty, but with, with a little bit of practice, I think you'll get a hang of it. So all we're gonna do is just click uh, this green button here. And as soon as we do that, it's gonna start writing the code. This takes uh, quite a few seconds, so I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, uh, it stopped right here. As you can see, it had written quite a bit of code and it stopped right at this juncture. I'm not sure how to get it to continue, but this is actually, uh, this might be due to its token limitation. But in either case, this is actually uh, pretty good for us, so we can actually just copy this and bring it into Visual Studio Code and then uh, try, let uh, GitHub Copilot complete it for us and see, see what happens. This is the code that it originally had written. I'm going to just delete all of it and actually get the latest one that it had written. I hope it works. I haven't tested it yet. I will copy the comment as well because it will give GitHub Copilot some um, context. After that, we're just gonna let it continue. Let's start from here. It's good to kind of go back a little bit. Okay, it's already writing some code for us, except this. I think this is a, diff this is a bit different than the one before. So I think it's concluded. Uh, I believe this is the end of it. We don't know if it works or not. Uh, there's a very cool, uh, so let me just, I've created a folder with index.html and the script is pointing to the script.js. I should actually put it in the head, but never mind. This is the original code it created, which you saw in the beginning of the video, and this is the one that we just created. 
Now there's a, a, a quick and easy way to run it uh, in the browser window. Now this is still currently running the old one, um, which is through a extension in Visual Studio called Live Server. I just wanted to point this out. Uh, if you have this installed in Visual Studio at the bottom right, uh, you will see this, uh, well, let me close this. Uh, once you have appropriate files in your uh, in your working directory then you can just click go live and it will start a server and actually see uh, creates a new document let's close the old one so this uh, definitely do work when it collides with the red dots it's reducing in size and I believe with the green ones but it's not moving randomly across the screen uh, so let me take a look and I'll be right back I believe the problem is right here. It's defining the circle, circle direction, and here uh, it's setting the interval, set interval, uh, and trying to animate the circle. But it's, I believe it's making a mistake here um, because it's just going through a bunch of if else statements and then changing. It, it's making the circle move in a deterministic way, just like we have what we have seen right here. This is not what we want. Uh, so this is where actually the from here to here is the code that we want to eliminate and get it to rewrite it so I'm going to make a comment and say that circle moves around randomly and bounce off the edges of the window and then let's and then let the github copilot complete it Actually, let me go and make it another mention. Let's say now we have our first suggestion, as you can see, in a uh, slightly uh, grayed out uh, fashion. You can click Alt, square bracket, right or left to get its uh, current suggestions, or you can do Control and Enter and see uh, up to 10 solutions that are being synthesized. Uh, let me take a, a look at these, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not sure. Let's accept this first solution. And then you just save this document and it should update right here. Okay, it has updated. Okay, this is, this is working. So this was the first one that it had suggested. But uh, I just want to show you again. I can delete this again up to that comment we made and then let it make a suggestion. Let's press control and enter. And this time it might synthesize different solutions, but I just want to show you what I did. I had accepted the first solution, but let's accept the second solution, save it, uh, and the live server automatically updates it, and this one works too. And uh, I kind of wanted maybe something different uh, for it to just move around randomly in random directions, not just by bouncing off. Uh, let's try to see if it'll if we can get it to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll, if it'll work. Okay, this one was uh, kind of going. It's a bit, bit jittery in motion, but again, I allowed it to synthesize uh, new a new solution and accepted the first one. Uh, let's remove this and get a, get other uh, solutions synthesized. Let's this time accept the third one. Let's save it and see what that does. This is still doing the bouncing from the edges one. This actually works well. Uh, this was actually quicker than uh, I thought it would be. Uh, pretty cool. You can play around with the Codex's JavaScript sandbox, and then you can copy and paste the code and do whatever you will like with it. Uh, and uh, I hope you found this useful. This is a quick little video. Please uh, like and subscribe and leave any comments with suggestions uh, or with your thoughts. Have a good one.